Uh, Dad said that you're okay with being on the internet. Sure. Okay. So, uh... Um, five dollars per view. Oh, damn. I'll give you my PayPal account. I take Venmo and I take Adache uh, Mobi. Cash, check, and COD. So I will be in the link in the description if you want to pay him. Put that in but hi um as you can see there's two angles there's not two of me there's game hi so, uh that's my dad's co-worker and this is a project for english class so i'll insert that here i don't know if this is in focus but hi welcome to my english project um i'm currently outside the air traffic control tower at my dad's work and so for my english project i have to interview somebody and so i decided to interview one of his co-workers so we're gonna do that now this is also gonna double as b-roll for the like project itself so there you can see the freedom of the seas oh that made it brighter you know so time to go up the 69 steps <laughs> 69 Anybody resting in here? BT yet? No, I meant behind the scenes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got frauds in Atlanta. Wait, no copy strike. Oh wow. Don't you love white? That's racist! Ooh, a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good hard motherfucking boat. Yeah. Oh. I'll be looking at this camera, so... <laughs> um, for my English project, we had to interview a working person, and so today I will be interviewing Gabe. Say hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have, I think, 12 questions. Don't quote me on that. So they're all about your work. Okay. Okay. Not specifically about your work, but relating. working in general. Working. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, question number one: What do you do for work? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just. That's, that's great. That's fair. No. 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 I'm an air traffic controller. That's great. Um, well, what is an air traffic controller? Okay. Air traffic control. Everybody imagines uh, like the guy at the airport with the glow sticks going. Oh my God! Literally, though, Jesse was like, "Oh, so you're." And I'm like, no, that, right. that's not what that was. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's kind of like everybody in Puerto Rico has been in the early morning uh, tapon or traffic jam. And there's a cop there who makes it worse, by the way. Sorry, he shouldn't be there. But who's doing this with the, with the, with the, with the, um, with the cars. You know, stop, you stop, you come, go. Okay, now you come. Now you. It's basically that, but in the air. So all the aircraft that are coming in and out of the airport, I have to make sure that uh, they don't crash into each other. That's, that's basically our job, or they don't have near misses. Mm -hmm. So we're sequencing aircraft and giving clearances for landing and departing. We also give them IFR clearances, and we tell them how to leave the airspace. It's very specific. And unlike uh, cars where you can go, stop, you can't tell an aircraft to stop. The aircraft is going to continually come in, so that's where the planning and the sequencing and the difficult part of the job comes in. Because you can have an aircraft doing, I want to say, to give you an example, you have one coming in at 80 miles per hour, but behind them there's a guy coming in at 130 miles per hour, and behind him there's a guy coming in at 220 miles per hour. So each one is eating each other up. That's when you have to do a plan. You have to spin one, bring this guy here, tell this guy to hurry up. So basically, I'm uh, when you see aircraft that. Incoming and landing, uh, landing and departing at an airport. There's somebody like me going. You now you. Okay, now you can go. Now you can stay. So the this this, but in 3D. <laughs> what the police officer does on the street, but in 3D. That that's scary. That's scary to think about. At least 
for someone who especially does, if does. you know me. <laughs> you can't. Do that. I feel sorry for pilots. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so this camera battery is dying. Uh, this one isn't, but yeah. Um, so that I'll put the the end of the project. What is your official job title? Official job trapper is air traffic control specialist. Uh, how long have you had this position? Uh, well, if you're talking about here, mm -hmm. it's about 11 years. Wow. But I did it for five years in the military, so I've been an air traffic control a controller a total of 16 years. Oh wow, that's longer than I've been alive. <laughs> uh, how long have you been working for your company? This company, 11 years. Would you say that your job is hard? Oh man. Uh, <laughs> To quote your father, uh, he, he likes to say that uh, air traffic control are hours of boredom followed by minutes of panic. But uh, it's not an easy job. There's a lot of people that have come here and have not made it. So yes, this tower, especially this tower, it's a difficult job. The responsibility of this job is, is high. I wouldn't say that the job itself is difficult. but. All the responsibilities that you have with uh, your health, you have to be in top health. You, uh, with the public, you have to deal with pilots. So that does make it stressful. Not really hard, but stressful. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy your job? On most days, yes. The only time I've ever not enjoyed my job was right after the Hurricane Rhea, where we had like, like uh, I think it was something to like five to 600 operations a day. It's the first time in 16 years that I, I, I would wake up in the morning and go, I don't know if I wanna go to work today. But we had no radios, or minimum of radios, no phone communications, no radar, no backups, and just crazy amount of traffic. It was just, it was, it was a lot of work. But, uh, but for the most part, yes, I do enjoy. I, I got lucky. I do enjoy my job. Um, what's your favorite part about your job? Honestly, we get a lot of. Uh, I don't say. We get some downtime, uh, and it's just, we have a small complement here, to about five or six guys. So if you need like a day off, or if you need to come in in the afternoon. Uh, people will it's more flexible it's flexible people will back you up and they have your back so and the, the nature there's only five or six of us we're like a small family mm -hmm. so I enjoy that a lot um, of course I also enjoy the pay who doesn't like getting paid <laughs> yeah um, what's your least favorite part about your job uh, the least favorite part about my job I'll give an example is how I feel as an air traffic controller you know how they say you're only as strong as your weakest link mm -hmm. so in that sense or la soga parte por lo más fino, so for people who speak Spanish, uh, we're the weak link, or we're the, the, the soga fina. Mm -hmm. So anything that happens with an aircraft, an aircraft can go down and it can be engine failure. I have nothing to do with it. I, I, I can't will the engine to continue working. Mm -hmm. But if an aircraft goes down and it's engine failure, I get drug tested. Oh. Even if, regardless, I get drug tested. So. And I'm not saying like, I'm not mad because I can't smoke weed or, or, or have alcohol in my system. I'm saying I suffer from allergies. If I take a Benadryl the night before, an aircraft goes down because of uh, engine failure, and I go take a pee test and they see Benadryl in my system, I get fired. So those are the stressors that air traffic controllers have that people don't, don't really understand. I cannot have a Benadryl. If I'm gonna have a beer, I have to make sure it's 15 to 16, it's 12 hours. Well, to be safe, you do 16 hours before you come into shift. So you drink on your days off if you want to. If you're if you're gonna work the next day, you can maybe have one or two beers and you have to have, make sure there's a 12 hour space and there's zero uh, alcohol in your system. So those, you know, those, those little things, things that happen that are not in your control can still get you fired. Oh, that's tough. That, that yes. sounds very tough. It is. Um, Especially not being able to take uh, like Alivert, I have like I said uh, Benadryl, anything, any any allergy medicine is you, you can't have it in your system because it might cause drowsiness and it's not allowed. Yeah. Um, how's the atmosphere at work? Uh, you know, like I said, it's like it's a, it's a close family, and uh, like families, you have good days and you have bad days. They're mostly good days. But the atmosphere is pretty good. Everybody here has known each other, or we've worked with each other. I've worked with your, like I said, I've been here 11 years. I've worked with your, your father for 11 years. I've worked with the boss about nine years. I've worked with Barreto seven, and the, new, the newest guy, I've already worked with him like three and a half, four years. So the atmosphere is usually pretty good, uh, which is not the same in every tower. But we're lucky we have a nice, 
tight unit here. I mean, and with the aircraft, you know, it is what it is. On Sundays, it's a lot slower. Mm. It's a pretty chill day. You can get, uh, you know, you can get your air traffic control work done and reading and training them because the, the, the traffic's light. So those are good days. There's always busy days like Saturdays. It's like a busy day, but you know, that's what you get paid for. Um, does your job get repetitive? Yes, and uh, what happens when <laughs> you get bored or you, you repeat? There's some parts of the job that are repetitive, like the phraseology. Mm. Every time somebody taxis out, it's not like, it, it doesn't change. It's not like I go, hey buddy, take a stroll. Hey, take a walk. Hey, skip. It's always the same, so sometimes when that happens, you, you, you tend to either mumble or speak too fast, and that happens to me. So yes, it's uh, to the detriment of the pilot. Sometimes I'll speak too fast or I'll mumble. You know, instead of saying runway niner, taxi via Bravo, make a left down departure, remain outside class Charlie airspace, contact town ready, which is the way it's supposed to be. You'll hear runway niner, taxi via Bravo, make a left down departure, remain outside class Charlie, contact town ready, because I've already got it in my head. Okay, and the last question, has anything bad happened while on shift? Yes, we've had, <coughs> uh, you mean me or in general, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you mean specifically. It's always with your father, but uh, we've, uh, yeah. we've had... <laughs> Coincidence. Coincidence, I think that, no, but unfortunately, uh, on a serious note, we have had a few aircraft mishaps or accidents where there was loss of life. Uh, it's happened, I think, unfortunately, on two occasions. And of course, no one, no one ever likes that. That's not ever fun. You don't want that to happen. Of course, being that your father and I still have a job, obviously, it was not our fault. And we took the P-test and all that stuff. Uh, one time, just the helicopter just uh, you know, lost control. He had landed and he just, and the, the, unfortunately, the, the gentleman later died. And one time an aircraft just uh, on the way in, didn't make it in and fell in the ocean and unfortunately he didn't make it. So those are realities that you face in this job that sometimes, you know, you, you come to work today, you hope everybody makes it home safe, sometimes they don't. So, you know, it affects different people differently. So that, that's another stressor that this job has. Wow. That's very, very impactful. <laughs> So that's the end of my questions. Um, thank you for your time today. No problem. It's very appreciated. Um, so yeah, that, that's the end of my project. <laughs> this is at least an A minus. Yeah, least. let's hope we see <laughs> what's following. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's a lot weird when, when you're doing it and there's other people, but you know. Whatever. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click that bell icon to be notified every time I post a video. Tell me in the comments what do you think of this because this is like different experience, you know. And say hi to Gabe in the comments. So yeah, uh, remember that I love you all so so much, and I'll see you whenever I post this because I don't know when this is gonna get uploaded. So, bye. Bye.